for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, Zeke Singer and Andrew the drummer from the band. Yeah. I've just read a, a review of you guys describing you as the most exciting band in America at the moment. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Is it true? You just keep it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, if you know, I don't think we have, we're obligated or even allowed to say that ourselves right now. We give our best, that's for sure. Yeah. So. We leave it all out there when yeah. we play, for sure. So, yeah. But what do you think has provoked that kind of uh, comment? Is it, is it you know, the, the, the energy in your life performances? Um, we, we give our all every performance, you know, we all love playing, we love one another first, and we love playing with one another, and we love the songs that we write, so when we get on stage, it's, you know, it's like a playground for yeah. us. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the origins of the band? The, there's a few different elements mm -hmm. musically. Yeah. They are soul, and soul music, mm -hmm. and, and like, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you tell me how the band came together, and how you arrived at that? I think Andrew's got a Yeah, great sure, answer. yeah, I can do that. Um, so we, let's see, so the, there's actually like a kind of like older iteration of the band for a little while, and then that sort of people left and moved and stuff. And then the seven guys who are in the band now, we all met through the Bay Area, just the music scene, um, just a lot of random ways. Um, I did a recording session with the guitar player. There were some like random gigs that we did where we met people, but the San Francisco scene kind of when you start playing, you end up meeting everyone yeah. around, you know? Yeah. So we kind of just met through all those different avenues and we started playing together and it just clicked and it felt really good. Um, so we just kind of kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, and now we're in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> How does it feel being in Australia for the first time? It's great. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday was our first set ever in Australia and it was awesome. Great response, the crowd, Loved it, and it's really yeah. fun to go out there and you watch people, they change over the course of the set. Cause yeah. like you go, no one knows who you are and they don't owe you anything. So you start playing and they're just kind of hanging out, watching, getting into it. Then by the second song, third song, whatever, you can feel the energy in the crowd. We're like, okay, we're with you now, you know? And it starts to feel like a hometown show, you know? Yeah. Like when we're in the Bay, we walk on stage and you can just feel like the crowd is with us, you know? And so it's great to go to different parts of the world now. We used to just do it in the country, but different parts of the world. And you can feel, you have to work for it, but you can feel that the audience give that to you. And it's yeah. a great, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Now, see, journalists like to put labels on, on people all the time. And mm -hmm. you've been getting a bit of Michael Jackson thrown at you. Uh -huh. since you started. How do you feel about that? Um. Consider. <laughs> it's not a Consider bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing, you know. I'm, there's always room for improvement on my end, but yeah, I appreciate that. So you're fairly early into your recording career as well. How, where are you at with that? Uh, we just actually just finished our album that's coming out this summer. So. You see that in Australia too? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why Worldwide. we're here. And we'll see you back here to, to tour with it? I hope so. I hope if y'all have us, you know, we'd love to be here. It's beautiful here. Actually, uh, the concept of the record is, um, it's amazing to see so many birds of paradise, the plant. It's so amazing to see so many of them everywhere because our record is called Paradise and it's inspired by that, by that plant. <laughs> so <laughs> there's like a birds of paradise in our, uh, in our green room, this is crazy. And what, why paradise? Well, it's a beautiful, well, it, not only is it a plant that's so beautiful, it's not like any other plant, also, there are birds, actual birds called Birds of Paradise, and they're all males. There's all males in the band, and we all, you know, when we come together, we, you know, we show our colors, <laughs> like the Birds of Paradise, yeah. so. Yeah. What about the other influences that came to bear on the band when you started out? What, were you, what music were you drawing on when you were A lot of Sly the Family stuff. Stone, uh, some Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Like, we're diverse bands, so I mean, we have a lot of different flavors and yeah. backgrounds. And of course, my background is soul R&B. You know, we got another, our guitarist got a heavy rock band, a uh, rock influence. And yeah. We tried not to be too, um, yeah. like, uh, I know a lot of people say this, but too, like, calculating with what we did. Like, we wanted just to be, we didn't want to be a band where we were like, that's not Cohen Brio. Like someone would bring in a song or an idea and be like, that's not what this sound is, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think in doing that, 
there was some growing pains, you know, but in doing that, we've allowed ourselves now, like we were just talking about it, like the live show, it's definitely, you know, soul, funk, R&B influence. Yeah. But when you see the live show, there's some, there's like rock and roll in there too, you know, and there's disco in there and stuff like that. And we try not to be too much like we have to be an R&B band because that's like what iTunes says we are. Wait till like, you hear the to album. Like this, so. Wait till you hear the album. Yeah, it's, okay. it, it goes all over the place, you know, in a good way. It all sounds like us, but we, yeah. we try to allow it to breathe. And is that where the name of the band comes from as well? Because obviously it's like pushing yeah with spirit or with vigor is what the name means in Italian and we just feel really uh, embodies what we try to do like Zeke was saying we really try to give it all when we're on stage and uh, we always say if we're not having fun why should the audience have fun so we need to be having fun and write songs that we have fun performing night after night and stuff like that yeah. and um, yeah so I think that all has a lot to do with it and did you know anything about Blues Fest and have you had a chance to see anything while you've been yeah, I saw two of my favorite artists who released my two favorite albums this past year, D'Angelo and Kendrick Lamar, back to back. That's so, like crazy. It's crazy because they, they travel, we tour a lot, and every time they came through the Bay Area, we missed them because we were gone. But it's amazing to be able to play the same festival as them and also see them. So yeah. we have checked out some of the artists. Yeah. What's the long term ambition for the band? The long term mission is to be a long-term band. Yeah, <laughs> we want to take it as far as we can. We yeah. want to work as hard as we can and spread the music to as many people as we can. You know, we try not to put limits on yeah. like the number of people that can be at our show or the number of, you know, we want to go as doesn't mean we don't want we the Grammys or the Glass <laughs> or or the, all the, you know, yeah. the great successes that come along with it. But, we, you know, longevity is what it's all about. Yeah. Us. Well, I hope you get all of that. Thank you very much for being at Blues Fest. Thank yeah. you, Ian. Good luck. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having us. You. All right. <laughs> Thank you all. All right. <laughs> Boom back. Thank you very much.